capture the details in your images and avoid blown out highlights or crushed shadows. It is important to ensure that your images are properly exposed. Light Meter helps cinematographer to create a cohesive look in his cinematography. There are two main types of light meters, incident light meters and reflected light meters. Incident light meters measure the amount of light falling on a surface. Incident light meters are held close to the subject, pointing in the direction of the light source. The meter then measures the amount of light that is falling on the subject. Incident light meters are often used to measure the overall brightness of a scene when shooting outdoors. This is because the brightness of the scene can vary greatly depending on the time of day, the weather, and the location. This information can then be used to set the camera's exposure, the cinematographer can ensure that the scene is properly exposed, regardless of the changing conditions. Reflected light meters measure the amount of light that is reflected off of a surface. They are typically used to measure the brightness of a specific object or area in a scene. The meter then measures the amount of light that is reflected off of the subject. This information can then be used to set the camera's exposure to ensure that the subject is properly exposed. For example, a cinematographer might use a reflected light meter to measure the brightness of the actor's face in a close-up shot. By ensuring that the actor's face is properly exposed, the cinematographer can create a more visually appealing image. Ultimately, the best way to use incident light meters and reflected light meters in cinematography is to experiment and find what works best for you. There is no right or wrong answer, and the best approach will vary depending on the specific situation. Thanks for joining us on this cinematic journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning, and keep creating.